Hey YouTube, Craig here. Just want to make a short little video about some more thrift finds I found this weekend. Didn't get to do much shopping with the weather and everything and the holiday, so I only got to go to like two places, but found a couple things. First thing is, you know, I found a Husky drop cloth here, 0.7 mil, 9 foot by 12 foot. And you know, these are just a couple dollars, but I got it for 50 cents, so I took it. You know, it's pretty big, I can use it for all kinds of things. Just about everybody knows what you can do with that. And also, I found two of these bowls here that match the outdoor cooking ware I got. They don't weigh nothing. I mean, don't even look like they've been used, so I got those for a dollar. So I took those up real quick. Easy to throw in a pack, real light. And I finally found another one of these bottles here. Most of the ones I always find, you know, see, I got there 55 cents. Most of them I find are aluminum, you know, and you can't never heat nothing on them. Or bull nothing but this is tinted stainless steel which soon will be not tinted because I'm gonna take this red off because you know that shit's just gonna smoke up throw it through the fire and let all that melt off one time but I mean it's stainless steel through the core here all the way up to the lid you can't see down there but there's no welds or nothing solid made so it's pretty good got the little cheap bandolier on it you know so I was just happy to finally find another one of these because I better look through hundreds and they're always just all aluminum so that's cool. Got me another one of those. And I found this guy right here. It's an AM FM radio. And it's actually a shower radio. It hangs in your shower, so it's waterproof. You know, it's not supposed to be so smudged or whatever, but take a little rain or whatever. So I thought this is pretty cool to have. It don't weigh much. Three AA batteries. I checked it. It works. And it's pretty dang loud for that one little speaker. So I was kind of excited. I was like, yeah, I need that, you know. Be cool as two at night where you're by the fire and everything, chilling. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for the thrift finds. And I just wanted to make another little point and see if anybody agrees with me. But first, this is a 16 ounce pint steel, stainless steel pint I got. And I got this free from Marlboro. I got it signed up in time and it got my initials laser etched into it. You know, so it's pretty cool. It's real strong, of course. Lee. It's, you know, it's made in China, but so that's pretty neat. And I just wanted to say that you know how most of us, when we go out, we carry our olive oil and stuff, our oil in some little container. You know, we use to fry up or whatever. I went to Subway the other day, and they give out these packets of olive oil if you ask for extra oil, and they actually give you a pretty good handful. I mean, I think two of these would be enough to fry on whatever you want to for the for the night. So two packets, through light, less weight in that bottle there, and give you what you need. Plus, it doesn't cost anything. It's free. The only thing is, it's 90% canola oil, 10% olive oil. So it depends on what you like. But these are free, easy to pack. I mean, they're pretty good in little container, you know, little bags there. So if anybody likes, you know doing anything by the budget you know there you go so I thought a little make that little note there but one other thing is uh, I want to thank Auto Tech 91 I want to thank Miles over there he had a little contest the other day a little short one about see if anybody could send the most people over his way and give him some shout outs and me and another guy were actually I think the only ones that participated and he did a drawing and I won a Daho knife so I just want to Tell him thank you for that, and to anybody that hasn't gone and checked Miles out over at AutoTac91, they ought to. He's 15 years old, and he uh, collects all kinds of knives, especially the spider codes, like I noted in the other video. And he's also got that Instagram, which I just now created this weekend. So I have an Instagram now at CraigCSU07. So if you check me out, you can find him there, and he's also his is also the same name, AutoTac91. So you can check him out there too. But I just want to say thank you, Miles. And for everybody else to go check him out. Thanks for stopping by. See you later.